As a mom, this case ripped my heart out. And it's one of the most publicized cases ever in the state of Maine. A darling little 20-month-old is reported missing by her father. Michelle Sagona picks up the story from there. Tell me what happened to my daughter! Trista Reynolds wants answers, but what she desperately needs is her baby daughter, Ayla. What do you miss the most? I miss her smile, and I, I miss her blue eyes, and I just, I just miss her and just everything. 20-month-old Ayla mysteriously disappeared from her own father's house in Waterville, Maine, just days before Christmas. Justin, his sister Alicia, and his then-girlfriend Courtney Roberts were all in the house the night 20-month-old Ayla disappeared. A part of me always wonders if she was, she was yelling out for me and wondering why it wasn't there to save and protect her like it was supposed to. So no, it, it haunts me every day. Little Ayla was a surprise pregnancy for Trista and then boyfriend Justin DiPietro. He said, well, let's put her up for adoption. I said, you're absolutely crazy. I will not do that. Trista was a loving mom, but shortly after Ayla's first birthday, an old demon surfaced. You made the decision to go to rehab. I did. I needed to get myself better for her. That's why I did it. The plan was for little Ayla to stay with Trista's sister. But shortly after, Trista checked into rehab. She claims Justin and his mom, Phoebe DiPietro, convinced a Department of Health and Human Services worker they were supposed to have legal custody of Ayla. That night when the officers brought her down, I told that officer straight out, I said, she's going to flip out. She's going to flip out because she does not want to go with him. No. Trista and her father, Ronald Reynolds, were both worried about Ayla living with Justin. They both claim she came back home with mysterious injuries, which is consistent with what DHS found in its investigation. She had bruises like going up her leg and, you know, I said, what's this, Justin? And he was like, oh, she was playing at Chuck E. Cheese in a ball pit and some little kid was kicking her. Problem was, there was no ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese. Trista immediately checks herself out of rehab and begins to fight to get Ayla back. I said, Justin, why aren't you bringing her to me? Why won't you let me see her? And he just said, you're never gonna see her again. And that's when I started thinking like, what are you doing? Trista says Justin kept Ayla from her for weeks. And then she learns her daughter has a broken arm. Justin claims it was raining and dark and he was carrying her. He tripped on some steps and accidentally landed on top of little Ayla. But Ronald says it was an all too familiar story. You're saying he broke her arm? Yes, ma'am, I am, I am. I don't believe it was an accident. Trista says she calls to check in on Ayla, but Justin tells her their 19-month-old daughter is too busy to come to the phone. He said, well, she's watching Home Alone right now. And I said, really? And you're not going to let me talk to her? And he never did. And then that was it. Trista would never speak to or see her daughter Ayla ever again. How did you find out your daughter was missing? I got on the phone, and it was my dad. And he was in tears, and I said, Dad, what's going on? What's wrong? The police are here, and Ayla's missing. Nobody knows where she is. According to the Maine State Police, Justin put Ayla in her bed around 8 o'clock the night before. And when he went to check on her the next morning, her bed was empty. Obviously, when a toddler wanders off, uh, we, we obviously start searching, starting from the, the place where she was last seen. And in this place, it was their, their home and uh, that search got wider and wider. While police and divers search every inch of Waterville, investigators begin questioning Justin, his sister Alicia, and his girlfriend Courtney, who were all in the house that night. All three claim Ayla was abducted. We don't think she was abducted. We don't think she wandered off. And we think foul plays involved. Within days, what began as a desperate search for a lost little girl turns into a hunt for a possible killer. We think it is highly unlikely that Ayla Reynolds will be found alive. Police find Ayla's blood throughout the house. My whole insides, like I felt like my whole heart and just everything in here, just feeling like it was crackling and, and it just broke and I just dropped to the ground and I told my mom, I said, it's real mom, like she's dead. Trista says police showed her crime scene photos from inside the house the morning Ayla went missing and a map similar to this one, pinpointing every spot where they found Ayla's blood. 
And it was found on her slippers, a baby doll, um, in her car seat. Then Trista says cops gave her the theory of what happened to Ayla. They actually think that it ended with them um, rolling her up in a blanket and sticking her in a tote. Do you try not to think about what Ayla may have gone through? I actually do. My biggest thing is I wonder if she did, if she um, she called out, or if she was just really mad at me because I wasn't there. I think she, I think she's really mad at me, and that's what hurts the most. Police refuse to name anyone a suspect, but they wholeheartedly believe there's a dirty secret being covered up. We have said from the very beginning that the three adults inside that home know more than they've told us. For months, Justin, his girlfriend, and sister refused to talk. Then Trista is tipped off. Justin as a court date for an alleged domestic battery incident. She shows up to confront him once and for all. Justin, where she is? Justin, just look me in the eye so I can see her. Up next, the explosive confrontation. Justin, 